Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about physics materials in Unity and how you can use them to simulate different surfaces. So I've got this scene set up with four balls, four different lanes that will be our different surfaces and a wall at the end of them. The balls, as you can see, all have rigid bodies on them and I've set the angular drag to two so that they slow down a little bit nicer. They also have a script that just adds a force to them when I press space, nothing too crazy. Let's just do a little demo to see what I've got so far. Right now, as you can see, all the balls are acting pretty much the same. So let's create some physics materials so that the balls move a little bit differently depending on what surface they're on. So I'm going to create a new folder and call it physics materials. And we'll go into that folder and then in here we'll right click and then create and then go down to physics material to make our first physics material and let's call this one ball. And now we can see our physics material here in the inspector. Dynamic friction is the friction force that will be used when the object is moving. Static friction is the friction force that will be used when the object is still. And bounciness is, well, how much the ball will bounce. There are also two different combined modes here. These are used to determine which value to use when two different objects are interacting. You can see that you can choose from average, minimum, multiply, maximum. Those are all pretty self-explanatory, I think. They also have priorities too, with maximum being the highest, then multiply, then minimum, and then average being the lowest. The way the priority works is, say you have two different objects, one with a maximum combine and one with an average combine. Since maximum is the higher priority, it'll use that instead of the average from the other object. And everything I just said about those combines works for both the friction combine and the bounce combine. So for our ball physics material, let's just keep the default values for now and let's select all our balls here. And then drag this material into the material slot in the collider. So we'll run it again. Uh, but nothing will change yet since we haven't set any different physics materials for each of these surfaces. So let's do that now. So first I'm going to make a new physics material again and let's call this one grass. And for this one I'm going to set the dynamic friction to be 0 0.4. And then we'll make another physics material here. Let's call this one rough grass. As you can see these lanes are all from a golf game I'm working on. And let's switch the dynamic friction to be 0 0.7 on this one. And then we'll make another one here. We'll rename this one to be sand. And this one's going to have a dynamic friction of 1. And then one more here. Let's rename it ice. And this one's going to have a dynamic friction of 0 0.05. And let's also put down the static friction on this one too. Let's make it 0 0.1. And then I'm going to go through again and set my combined modes for grass. I'm going to use minimum for ice. I'm also going to use minimum for rough grass. We'll use maximum. So it uses that value. And for sand, I'm going to use maximum as well. So the, I'm just setting these so that these values will be the ones that are always used since the ball's dynamic friction is 0 0.6 with the minimum ones. It'll use the smaller one, which is these two. And then for the, Maximum ones, it'll use the higher value, which will be the values in these. Let's go to our lanes here and set these materials. So for grass, we'll drag in grass. For rough grass, rough grass, sand, sand, and ice, you guessed it, ice. Now let's try running again and see what happens, see if anything's looking different. So you can see that the balls are all moving at different speeds now. You can see that the sand doesn't even make it all the way to the end because of its friction. Now that we've played around a little bit with our friction, let's play around with some bounciness too. So as you can see, I've made all the lanes into grass now so that we can really see the effects of the bounce and not focus on the effects of the friction. I'm going to go back into my ball material here and I'm going to make it so it has a bounciness of 0 0.5. And then we're going to make four new physics materials for each segment of the wall here. So let's make a new physics material here and let's call it no bounce. And then here in here, the only thing we're going to change since the bounciness is already zero is we're going to change the bounce combined to be minimum so that it's always zero no matter what the ball's bounciness effect is. Then we'll make another physics material here and we'll call this one sum bounce. And let's give it a bounciness effect of 0 0.3 and we'll keep average on for this one so it takes some effect from the ball as well. Then we'll make another physics material and let's call this one just bounce. So this one will make 0 0.6 and we'll keep it average as well just so it takes some effect from the ball and then we'll make one more physics material here and let's call it big bounce in all capital letters because it's going to be a big bounce and we'll make this one one and 
make it maximum so it's always going to be one now let's go to our walls here for extremely inefficient we'll do no bounce for moderately inefficient we'll do some bounce for moderately efficient we'll do bounce and for literally breaking the laws of physics maybe if somebody knows if there's 100 percent efficiency bounces in real physics you can let me know i'm not sure but let's add big bounce to it and now that our lanes are all the same, our balls are all the same, let's see how these bounce effects work. So let's hit play here. And then we'll hit space to see how they bounce. You can see the one with the big bounce there bounce the most, and then some bounce. Is this one here a little bit of bounce there? And no bounce at all there. That one gets stuck on the wall. So that'll be it for this one. I hope you learned something about physics materials and how you can use them to create different surfaces, different types of walls for your Unity games. If you did like it, make sure you like the video, maybe subscribe to check out my other videos too if you want to learn some other cool Unity stuff. And if there's any tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you have any questions about this one, let me know in the comments too. But that'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.